Hey everybody, and welcome to my N5 series where I cover a topic in about five minutes. Today I wanted to, while we're kind of preparing this drum kit kind of thing, build out a loop. We're going to use the mood right here, and I've got the SP404 Mark II ready. It's already routed through it, so whatever I play, the mood is always listening, whatever's going through it, and we'll be able to take it and pitch it down is what I was thinking of doing, and then turn that into a loop that we can kind of see if we want to play against. So... I don't know. I'm just trying to feel it. Alright. So let's pitch it down. Let's go lower. Get some generation loss and lossy going. I feel like a really ethereal sound. I'm just gonna arm the recording. I'm gonna let it go because I don't know exactly how long this loop is. I'm gonna guess it's between five and eight seconds. So we'll just let it loop over a couple times. Get it recorded into the MPC buffer. And then we can figure out where we want the start and end points to be and see how it loops. So I'm gonna put this here on pad five. We'll say keep. I'm going to just disable the monitoring so we're not hearing it, but I'm going to leave the buffer there just in case we want to go back to it. Double tap sample edit, and let's take a look. So, kind of got to decide what do I want to use as my start point. Oh, I'm going to move over to Q Link for a start. Kind of looks like somewhere around here might be a good place to start. And then I see a similar spot here. So I think we can probably loop roughly in this area. So let's just check. Should be good there. Let's go back. We'll oh, I'm gonna slide back over to start and end. Oops, we're on the wrong one. So Line up there. Let's see how this loops. I think we're the end is the wrong spot. We're gonna be here. It sounded okay. I hear a tiny pop. So I'm gonna hold shift and go zero snap. Let's go start we'll just move it just a nudge we'll do the same thing for the end just to make sure we're at a zero cross point that sounds much better so basically what we're doing is making sure that we're not having like a straight up and down line where it's coming in at a different spot where it's high and low it'll make it loop much better so I'm going to process this. We're going to go discard, oops, process, just discard, do it. So we now have this set up as a loop. What I now want to do is, instead of going through clips and all that stuff, I just want to take this and re-trigger it. So the first thing I'm going to do, it's either going to be two or four bars. We'll find out here in a second. Yeah, that's like coming in way too soon. So let's just drop this down to like 48 first. Yeah, I think we're going to need to do four bars, which is fine. Then we'll see where we stop. Yeah, so now probably going to be more like 72 or something. We'll let it come over and see where it stops then. And I'm just going to keep kind of working the BPM up until we hear it kind of overlapping where there's no silence cut out. Yeah, so we still need to go higher. Let's go 92. And again, I'm just doing this. I'm just kind of guessing. So we'll probably go a tiny bit lower. Because I want to get it to just after so 90 let's try that i want to get until just after so we don't hear the silence but we're not uh getting anything else kind of weird there 
Okay, I think that's good. So we're going to go with 90 BPM. It's close enough. I'm not looking to make this perfect, so we could stop. Now we have something we can kind of play, like some drums or something against. I'm feeling this is kind of a slower kind of track, so I mean, I could quickly program in like a four on the floor or something, but um, I don't know. Let's just kind of see where we go with this. I know we only got three in here. Whoop, that's like super late. Let's fix that. Whoop, gonna go nudge. I'm gonna delete that. Oh no, I don't want to delete that. That's the actual note. Maybe we put these at the start. Each one. I don't know. Let's see. Let's see how it feels. So what I'm thinking here, what I'm thinking with these hats is maybe we throw that through like a delay or something. So I'm gonna hold menu, program mode. Let's get the, there, go effect and Go delay and reverb. Let's try delay pro. No, that's too much. That's too much. It's actually kind of cool. It may still be a little much. Let's just knock it down to like 30. Like that spacey kind of effect. Because, I don't know, I'm just going for like a light atmosphere. What else do we have for sounds here? that hard enough. There we go. This one's too much. I can almost see this. Let's start over. I'll just do it like at the beginning. I'm gonna just run this through like a transgate or something maybe. Last note was a little early. Let me fix that. But yeah, menu program. We're back on that. Let's go for filter gate. Let's see what we can get. It might sound cool. Kind of like the timekeeper. I like the pan, but the resonance I think is too high. I don't know. I think I'm going to end it here. We'll keep adding in some more stuff though, but uh, yeah, I don't know. Just messing around, doing something a little different and see where we go. I think uh, we'll come back for the next video, maybe offload some of these and start flipping them around and bringing them back into the NPC. But uh, yeah, everybody, thanks for stopping by. Keep making music, keep having fun. Remember if it sounds good, it is good. And peace.